Let's start with the essentials. A laryngectomy operation is usually necessitated by cancer of the larynx. It involves removal of the larynx, often referred to as the voice box. This leads to some major structural changes, and before looking at these, it's worth spending a minute considering the anatomy prior to surgery. Eating, drinking and breathing can all take place through the mouth and pharynx. Food and drink are rooted through the esophagus or gullet. Air being breathed in or out travels through the trachea or windpipe. But following removal of the larynx, new arrangements must be made for breathing. And the surgeon makes a new opening in the neck, a stoma, directly connecting the trachea to the outside world. You may well have encountered other patients who've had an opening made into the trachea as a tracheostomy, an operation undertaken for a whole range of reasons. The difference between a tracheostomy and a laryngectomy is that a tracheostomy is usually a temporary stoma into the neck, whereas a laryngectomy is a permanent stoma to allow the individual to breathe through. If you occlude the stoma in a tracheostomy patient, if there's no obstruction in the pharynx, you can still breathe through your nose and your mouth, whereas with a laryngectomy, you only breathe through the stoma in the neck.